Hey guys, Christine Lopez here, and I'm here with Aaron Navarro, and he is definitely one of my favorite people on the whole planet. Like and that's true. That's so true. So Aaron, we're at Savannah right now, but where's your home gym? My home gym is uh, downtown Houston, Main Street Boxing Gym. I've been there forever, yeah. but uh, yeah, I don't know how many years, but it's been a, a, a lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. And so there's some exciting things that are going on in that gym. Yeah, absolutely. We got a ton of ton of guys in the gym, probably 20 active pros or so. Uh, a lot of big fights coming up, especially in this first part of the year for us. I mean, obviously, you know, we got we're just pro grade uh, in the world, you know, boxing super series. Yes. We're in the semifinals, we're fighting Relic, who's a very, you know, very. I mean, all the guys left in the tournament are that, that's gonna be very, good. very tough, very good fighters. That's what it is, you yes. know. So that, that's why we're there. Yes. But uh, yeah, we got a very uh, a tough fight in uh, Relic Ways, who's a WBA champ. Another a chance to pick up another belt to add to. Uh, his collection, so that'd be Close nice. To that Ollie Trophy. That's right, man. I mean, it's just a huge. It, it, the, the, the whole thing. We love the whole thing. You know, we love the. You know, the, the quality of the fighters in there. The, the tournament uh, setup where you know you know you're fighting who you're fighting next when you're fighting so yeah. on and so forth. And then yeah, obviously the, the Ali Trophy and the, yes. the chance for you know. Uh, the, the, the final in that, whoever it is in the final, I mean, is going to come out there with an enormous amount of hardware yeah. and, and the Ali trophy and a nice oh, and a nice payday. And oh, then, yeah. you know, we also know, knowing the way that this works, that's going to lead. I mean, then you're, you know, you're going to have your pick and choose it at the Most weight definitely. class after that. So it, it's just a great thing all the it way is. around. I, and I, I love, love all the weight classes that they're doing. I just think. You know, the, I love the whole idea of it, and I, I really hope they keep it going as long as possible. Cause yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing for, for boxing in general. It really is. And so, in, in Regis, um, he fought in October, so do y'all know when um, he'll uh, fight again? It's changed on us a couple of times. Okay. Uh, we're definitely looking at some time in the next, you know, um, you know, the early part of this okay. year, meaning up to, I guess, you know, about sure. April. We're just waiting for, a, we already know who we're fighting, which is good. Yes, yes. And uh, so we know who to get ready for. Uh, we're just waiting for them to get a day locked in. I, I, I'm guessing sometime between March and April as well. Okay, looking I'm looking forward to that. So really we, yeah, yeah so, that's going to be and, good. You know, then after that, then I, I we have a Oshaki Foster who, I'm, Matter of fact, the, the WBC ranking was just moved up to number ten, so he's oh in the top gosh. ten of the world. Uh, if you guys remember, he had the great win yes. to win the WBC silver title yes. on Showbox against John Fernandez, who's another. Listen, and he's a great that kid. That kid is a, a hell of a fighter, beautiful. and and uh, and, oh and that's a fight. Well, you know, we're obviously and rightfully so the underdog yes. coming in. Not to us, we weren't, right, but I mean, on, on paper, we yeah. were. And, and listen, Fernandez is a great fight. He's yes. very strong, a yes. very determined fighter, and I think. Listen, we, you're going to see a lot of things from him to continue. You yes. know, he definitely a, was a deserving champion and, 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 and a kid that was supposed to be there. Just, you know, you guys know uh, Shock yes. coming up, yes. and, and so do we. And he finally showed some of what the fighter that we knew he, that he is. So you know, he's, he's always been proud. somewhat of an underachiever yes. since he turned pro. That was what we know he could do mm -hmm. and one of the big reasons why we wanted to fight you know when it was offered to us is because we knew he could win that fight yeah know? it was i mean perfect yeah. i mean the game plan was absolutely perfect yeah, I was he so followed it to impressed. a t yeah, yeah he, he followed it to a t and like i said really showed everybody what type of fighter he could yes. really be and, and there's still more to him oh yeah but you know he definitely showed that you know what kind of guy we, we knew he could be and yes. was able to finally show everybody else, you know, because I, yeah, I don't think anybody's beautiful. ever really seen, no. you know, the potential that, you know, and those of you like us yes. that watch him in the amateur, right. I, I mean, he was a standout yeah, amateur, he you know, he's an Olympic definitely. alternate and this and that, yeah. and, you know, he had to, look, what people don't understand too, a lot of times these young guys, they're growing up in front of everybody, yes. you know, when, when he went to the trials when I took him to the National Palace in San Antonio and he won five fights to get his spot in the trials. Yeah. The kid had just turned seventeen and I mean like not even a month into yes. that. He that, was a tough. young kid and he was fighting grown men. Yes. And then he went to the trials and you know he came out and turned pro and you know, the kid was 19, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. And you know a lot Still of guys most of us have bumps growing up. 
we just don't have everybody watching them yeah, happen like a lot of these stage. athletes oh, yeah. and you know these fighters their whole life kind of you know most of the life lessons and little bumps that all of us go through that only maybe our immediate friends and family know mm -hmm. about these kids it plays yeah. out for them in so front of everybody and so so you know he's got his head on straight now and i you know oh, we're expecting gosh. things to really i'm so excited to see you know more from him yeah he has so a, a fight uh we're not defending the title we still have the title mm -hmm. but um we're going to have a fight in between then uh february 23rd out in okay. beaumont which is kind of a homecoming you know thing okay. for him he gets to be the main event in his hometown That's finally great. and then you know we're working on what our next uh yeah. move is but you know being moved up to the top 10 you know is I mean, in the WBC huge. is you you guys know yes, how this works and I mean that's a, just a, that gives us a lot of options Most and a lot definitely. of a lot of things going on and then obviously you know probably the fight that's uh, you know coming up for me that has a, the most because of the time that I've yes. been with this guy is yes. that, you know I have Miguel Florida yeah. fighting Leo Santa Cruz yes. for the WBA uh, uh, title February 16th in Los that's Angeles huge. and that's another Love huge it. fight, yeah. not only because of the world title, but because of the type of guy that we're fighting in it. I mean, we know what type of, you know, Leo, I would guess, is universally recognized as either one of the two best featherweights in the world. Yes. You know, depending on who you're talking to, right. either Gary right. or Tim, you know, in anybody's yeah. conversation. And, you know, he's such a classy champion and such an established guy that, you know, fighting a guy like that makes it mean even more because, you know, we, oh, most you know, definitely. You know it's, a, it's a real fight with a real guy and, and you know, you win, you know, it, that's, it changes, that's changes gold. everything. That's gold. And, you know, the, the thing, we talked before and you were saying that, you know, whenever you went to Miguel and you said, hey, you know, they offered us this fight, he just like jumped on it. Yeah, though, he, he didn't, he told, he didn't blink it. an eye. He said, tell him to send the contract. That's, you know, and, which good. means, and you know, that, you know, Miguel's a, a little different case for me, even though, like, you know, the 22 years or so I've been training guys. I've been with him for 18 years straight. Yes. You know, him and yeah. I started working together. I trained his brother. I was one of his brother's trainers before. You know, I've known him since he was about three, yes. four years old. Wow. But I've been training him since he was about eight. Yes. And he's 26 now. So we have about 18 solid years in together yes. doing this. this is big and so, yeah, I mean, it's like almost 20 years of both of our yes. lives uh, to get, I don't, there's nobody in, in really that starts in any sport, you know, that when they're a kid and they're serious about it, like a, say a kid that starts out playing football. Yeah. You go pop war to junior high, high mm -hmm. school, make it to college if you're that good and into right. that. No kid that starts and stays on that pad doesn't want to play in the Super Bowl. That's and true. you know, for us in boxing, That's there's true. no kid, especially one that starts doing well and becomes a standout amateur and then becomes a pro prospect and so on and so forth and then into the contender status that doesn't want to fight for the world title. And and really at a certain point it is if you're not trying to get to that fight, yeah, then why are you really yeah, doing it? No you know, there, there's no there's like I was telling the boys earlier, there's nothing at the beginning or the middle of this game. Mm -hmm. Whether you're in it for the money or you're in it for the accolades yeah. or whatever you're in it for, everything is at the at the very end, at yes. the very top of the sport. So if you're not trying to get to that world title fight in this, at a certain point you gotta question should I really be doing this? I mean, we know as amateurs, guys do it for different reasons. Maybe they get out, and maybe God wants to have a few pro fights. But when you get to the point where, like, yeah, where these guys level. are at, where, you know, guys got 15, 20, or like Miguel's got close to 30 pro fights. And if you're not doing this to get to that fight, yeah. then you may want to think if you really want to do this. And it's the same thing for us. You know, many guys that I've worked with over the years, and as many guys we got in the gym now, I want to be in those kind of fights, and I don't want to just get invited to the dance. You know, I, I want. I want to. Oh yeah. I, I'm not happy just being there. You know, mm -hmm. we're we want to win those type of fights. And, you know, that's why we do all this. We talked about that earlier about the sacrifice all trainers and coaches make that yeah. stay in this for a long period of time. Yeah, and, you and know. people don't talk about that. That's, you know, and right. and then just like you being with Miguel all these years, it's like you have this bond. Like there's such a there's such a bond between a, a trainer, coach, and, and their boxer. You know, you love them. You know what's going on in their family. Yeah. You know, when especially somebody, when it gets that. 10 yes. plus years oh, of, yeah. of time. Most definitely. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's uh, definitely a different, for both both people. Yes. And it's like any long-term relationship. Most you know, definitely. They, you know, they're so, you know, most of them just don't last that long. Right. You know, so when you talk about 15, 20 plus years, yes. 
you know, when the fighters and trainers have been together of, of any group, you know, that's a that's a that's a different story. So, you know? so this is huge for y'all, and that's I'm so huge. happy and proud, like, to know you and for y'all to get to this level like that. With yeah, him. it just we because it's that definitely a huge deal huge. for us. Yeah, you know, just it a, is a huge fight, and we're, we're really excited about it. And look, we know it's a tough fight. Mm -hmm. We also feel like it's a winnable fight, or else we yeah, wouldn't have taken course, it. Of course, but uh, uh, you know, but believe me, you know, the, the kids. You know, very hard working focused kid and even and all the time I've known him he's always been like that mm -hmm. for this one even more so right because you know he, he knows you know yes. and, and I mean and listen all kidding aside you know it, it's a for him I mean it's a lot it's a it's a game changer mm -hmm. you know he wins this fight his oh, whole life changes, changes. Most it's, definitely. And we've seen that happen with a lot yes. of guys over the years in the, you know, the sport, you know, where, you know, hey, these guys, like, you know, you take a kid like Jared Hurd, who's a world champion and doing great. You know, when he was coming up, maybe not so, but, you know, he win that world title, and then when he beat Lada, you know, he's in a different, you know, he's in a whole different, you know, it changes things for those guys. Some of these guys, we kind of know them coming up, and they're expect just like you know Sh the kid you should cook. Yeah. He, yeah. he looked Shakur great, Stevens. and he's yes. looking great every fight. But he's yes. always one of those kids that we kind of expect him to be a right. multi-time world champion. Right. And right. I, if he don't, I think we'd all be surprised. Right. I mean, Most I think definitely. he's going to win world titles sure. in several different weight classes. Yes. I mean, he's just a he's a unbelievable mm -hmm. talented kid, and just. I mean, he's like a Crawford type where right. some kids, I remember watching yes. Crawford wearing the amateurs and said, man, that oh, kid can fight. Yeah. I mean, you just could watch you him then knew. and you that you guys have really done, it, you know, and you're still doing it. Yes. Too, you know, yes. so, it, yes. you know, that that makes a difference. See, that person you can talk to. Yeah. I oh, yeah. You know, some guy that, like my coach used to, to say, relatable. my coach used to say, that's the type of guy that never had a glove across his nose in his life. Right. But quick to talk about, yes, fucking, exactly. oh, that guy's a fucking bum. Right. You can't say that. There are no bumps you, in yeah. boxing. You, if you they never step, step through this here, ring you and can't they, say that. Yeah, you have to step in the no ring to be able to say that. That's in it. boxing. Yeah, I, I bet you. His name Expo, and then he's been a good pro, but, you know, for him, you know, and especially, you know, coming from you, you know, we know the L.A. guys and the New York guys get the most yes, attention yes, out of anybody. Yes, yes. We know that being from yes, Texas, you yes, know, so even yes, though we, we seem to have quite a few champions <laughs> here these days ourselves. Hey, but, we're uh, making noise now. We're that's right. Noise. But, but, you know, so we know that for a kid like him, getting in a fight like this and winning, it literally is going to change oh, yeah. his life so overnight. Yes. And, you know, and he realizes that, you know, he's a grown man and he's 26 mm -hmm. years old. He's got children of his own and he realizes what this opportunity is and, and believe me we're, we're not we're not happy just to be there right you know in our gym at main street over the last 30 years we or so we've been there we've had over 30 world champions yes. so we're not exactly awesome. excited just to be at this yes it's not right. like oh man this is our first world yeah, title fight. No. no we're we're going with the idea to win Most and that's definitely. all due respect to santa cruz because yeah. he's a great champion but that's but what we're, you're going there yeah, for. we're going there to win to not win. just to say we fought Most for definitely. The world title. Most so, definitely. Yeah, he's very excited very focused, working very hard, and, and you know, really ready to put on a great fight. I can't wait. February the 16th. I'm, I can't I'm either. I'm so excited. I That's can't either. I wish, so it, I wish we were out there already. Yeah, and that know. way, just because you know, we, you know, we, <laughs> yeah. this is the one we've been, we've yes. been working for for so long. So we're, yes. we're definitely very, we're very excited about getting the call, and and, and, and very happy to. You know, to, to get the chance. You know? Well, I'm so happy y'all got the call too. I'm happy for everything that y'all are doing. And you're over there with Bobby Benton. Yep. And who are some of the other trainers over there? Bobby Benton and, and Bobby and I work, you know, yes. boxing wise together right, right, right. with the, you know, yes. the fighters. Y'all are an excellent team. Yeah, one or excellent the other. Team. So yeah, the, our our the coaching staff, you know, Ed Ed Jackson, like I said, he's one of the best, not just a strength and conditioning guy, but just an all-around boxing guy. And Jack and I, I've known him for over 25 years. We're in the gym fighting together. He's been at a very high level of this sport for a long time, and he's just a you know, I, great. great guy to have around. We got Chris Hernandez, another good guy. Lencho Adama is another good guy that helps us. Uh, Evans Tolga, uh, Regis, mm -hmm. some of the other guys, string guy. We just have a, we keep a small group yes. of That's guys smart. That, that we like. And, and, and yeah. look, you know, there's a lot of good teams in boxing. Mm -hmm. We know a lot of them. I feel like I have one of the best groups of oh, yeah. boxing guys around For me. For sure. 
you know, period. Yeah. And, and I, I would I would stack my team up against anybody mm -hmm. else's, and I feel confident yes. going against anybody in, in and this so game important. with the team that I have. Yes. But yeah, we do keep a small mm -hmm. group of guys. That we're very selective, and you know, we, we work with a lot of guys. I mean, it's working. Far and stuff, but but we we keep a tight yeah. tight circle in the gym. Well, it's definitely working. So I thank you so much for this interview, but I do have to thank you because um, for those that don't know, I'm a cup woman, and I call have called Aaron and texted him and, and asked for advice, and he's always so gracious. He always gives me, you know, little hints and, and little little things to do, and so I'm just so appreciative of that. And yeah, for a friendship, I was very lucky to to have the same thing done with me many yes. years ago when I, when I was coming up. But that's so important yeah. that you know that you do that. Like that's so neat. Like a lot of people don't do that, but it, no, they it's don't, great. Man. But, and I, and I, I ran like across some of those one years yes. ago when I was starting too. Yeah. You know, I had yeah. both. That you know. Miguel Diaz and yes. Stitch and, you know, yeah. and, and, and Joe and, and, and some of those guys that give Susan and, and yes. other guys that helped me out a lot. And there was also some Susan. guys that didn't yeah. want any of the yeah, new yeah, guys yeah. around and they don't want to yes. tell you shit. Exactly. You know? so yeah, they're like, they're, they're on they're your own. Kind. That's yeah. it. You know, they don't want to give up anything. I'm glad you weren't like that. Likewise. You know, well, the, the, the friendship you guys is always yeah. appreciated. You guys are, you're one of the people that I like to talk to in this for the simple fact that I know you guys have been through the same thing. You've had the gym, you've done the amateurs, you've done the pros, you've worked the corner, you know, so many people in this. And I, I told a media guy this in, in, in LA a couple weeks ago when we were at the press conference uh -huh. with, with Miguel and uh, Leo. And he goes, you don't like us media guys much, do you? And I said, well, I said, it's not that. I said, there's some of you guys that I like. Right, I said, right. just like anybody else. Yes. I said, but some of you guys in the media never been in the gym. Mm -hmm. Unless you were just coming in and talk right. to some high end guy you've right. seen on TV to already. Somebody. I said, yes. you've never trained a fighter, you've never yes. fought, you've never worked the court, you've never done any, or, you know, like we yeah. said, piled a bunch of kids in the van, right. and took them to the am, you yeah. know, and, and, you know, I said, you've never done any of these things, but I said, some of you guys are so quick to, to knock a trainer or a yes. fighter, and I said, they that I no do idea. have a problem with. I said, if you haven't been in that man's shoes as a fighter or the trainer or the cut guy yes. or whatever, then I don't agree with the way that. Some of you guys just chop guys yeah. up on it, especially you lost it. <laughs> this is why we have pros and amateurs, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. My camera guy would have had it. Oh, you got some of your friends. No, no, no. I don't let the camera guy cook. No.